Hello folks and welcome to today's uh, episode of our game. Myself, Shane Staves, and joined as ever by Michael Verney. Very, very packed weekend. Uh, we're brought to you by orgoretro.com. Use the promo code our game and you'll get 15% off. Uh, there's a very pointed reason why we're wearing the jerseys that we're wearing today. Obviously the, the Kerry one here and the, and the Offaly one there. And Really terrible news last night that uh, Liam Kearns, who's the current Offaly manager and native, of course, of Kerry, has passed away age 61. A man that we would have come across many times over the years in our journalistic exploits and just a, a savage, horrible loss for both yeah, him, his family, yeah. his wife, Angela, who you and I spent a bit of time with last summer at the live event we had it on Pukon when he was a guest. Just uh, just terrible stuff. Yeah, very hard to get your head around the chain. Uh, Liam was a gentleman and he did as I had with him. And I'm sure, I'm sure you'd echo those sentiments. Uh, Big family man, big GA man. Um, yeah, very, just really, really sad. And one of those things that that really, like, really hits you hard because, like, by all accounts, I believe he'd, he'd been with the Offaly lads yesterday morning and, and was in great form. So, uh, yeah, really, really sad news. Obviously, such a like he's such a like a long managerial, uh, you know, career at inter county level. Had those great days with Limerick, um, was with Leash as well, had great days with like Tipperary's some of Tipperary's best days outside of that Munster final recently, and even with Offley now when he took on an Offley job that probably wasn't the most appetizing in the world with, you know, Niall McNamee stepping away and a lot of other lads unavailable, but they were already well assured of our division three status now at this stage and yeah, it's just yeah, it's very, very yeah, very, very hard to get your head around taken taken far too soon at sixty one. Yeah, like we we spent a nice bit of time with him uh, in that event. I think it was August or, or July, maybe last summer in Ampukon and Galway, and just great company, easy company. Great humor either. to him, hadn't he? Like he'd really good humor to a really good sense of humor as well, hadn't he? And good stories to him as well. And like you and I spent time with him in on Pukon after the event, and then he was staying in the same hotel that I was staying in. And afterwards, you know, I, I with his wife Angela, we just had a couple of more drinks and just the crack and. Ah, it's just so terrible to think, you know, I mean, just just the whole evening when you look back at it now and to think, you know, that that he's passed away, it's just, it, oh, it's, it's hard to get your head around. Yeah, no, it definitely is. And like, I don't know, I, this is probably an unprecedented scenario in the sense of like the Offaly squad, like, I don't know what sort of, sort of headspace those guys are going to be in as well. And I don't think anything like this has ever happened um, before. Really, um, and they're going to be playing at the weekend as well. So, yeah, first and foremost, though, like just deepest condolences from yourself and yourself to to the family, and particularly to to his uh, his loving wife. Yeah, and I like several. Like he's a fun character as well. Like I know the Tipperary lads absolutely loved him and had some great nights. And of course, there's that famous video of him singing in the dressing room. And another thing as well was back in 2014. Um, he had a selector who is the same, uh, full, the exact same name as me, who is now currently a selector with the, the Tipperary Under-20 hurlers. And, uh, you know, now and again, people will mix us up or whatever. So recently I was asked, how am I getting on managing Black Rock hurlers in Cork? And of course I'm not. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and, uh, and um, I, I think at the time, uh, Shane was part of the management team that Liam had at Tipperary. This was in 2014. So obviously management team, teams do their video analysis and all that, and sure, uh, Liam ended up somehow having my email address and emailing me the stats and the video analysis of their next game against Galway and the clips and the things they were focusing on. And I emailed them back and said, look, I, I do appreciate the clips and stuff like that. It'll help me with my preview. But, um, you know, you probably don't want to be sending this to a journalist. And sure, I know he didn't cop it or he didn't pay much attention. And sure, he did it for the next game as well. And then I messed him again. And finally <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just just such a, a fierce, nice character and um, devastating loss. And just the comments coming in. Uh, Cassius King says, devastating news. May rest in peace. Grodogo, Gracon, RIP, Liam Kearns. Unbelievable manager. Brought tip from nothing to All-Ireland semi-final. And Adrian Kelly, fierce sad news. Did great work with Limerick footballers and always came across as a real gent. Yeah, just a, a really personable fella. Uh, so, R.I.P. Indeed. Um, Just as well on name, like big stats man as well. That's where I think he won all Ireland minor. Um, he won a couple of trench cups. I think with the Garda College when he was involved with them as well. Um, he's and he's like it only just retired as well, which makes it you know, you know even sadder I suppose as well. But yeah, deepest deepest condolences to, to all the current family from from all of us. Yeah, it seems a bit trite to go and talk about uh, GA matters after that, but I suppose that that is the show. And you know, again, you know, we couldn't but pay tribute to him. Uh